We've got eight competitors through to the jump off. Daniel Deusser with Tobago Z. Oh, well, you wouldn't believe it. It was possible. Right, he's up on the clock. 34.67 seconds. He's galloping at the Longin Oxer. He's taken off. He flies. He stops the clock in 33.54. We have a new leader. The man who's already won two qualifiers. Can he make it three? Now for Switzerland, Pierre Schwitzer with the 10-year-old Courtney Cox. This is going to be very, very close indeed. 33.54. What's going to happen? He flies the last. He goes into the lead. Pierre Schwitzer, this is incredible. This is uh, the most extraordinary jump off that we have seen. One left to jump for Sweden. Odrik von Eckermann with Tobex Mary Lou. Close your eyes. He's there. This is unbelievable. The crowds are going absolutely ballistic here. Can the man do it? He clears the last. This is incredible. Well, I don't know what to say. You will never, ever see in the history of this sport a better Longin FEI World Cup jump off. The win in Amsterdam goes to Honrik von Eckermann for Sweden. Pierre Schwitzer for Switzerland on Courtney Cox in second. Daniel Deusser with Tobago Z in third. Kevin Stout for France in fourth place. The leaderboard at the Western European League. Daniel Deusser into the lead in the first spot, 79 points. Henry Van Eckerman now on 50. He's safe to the final.